Assalamu alaikum. Length and time. How can we measure the length? Uh, we use the ruler if we need to get the length between one millimeter and one meter. How can we use the ruler in correct way? For example, that the green arrow starting at zero. So this is the zero, it must be start from zero and end at 2.3. So the length of the green one is 2.3 centimeter. The red one does not start from zero. It start at 1.5 and end at 5.2. So what is the length of the red arrow? 5.2 minus 1.5. We use the calculator to get the answer. 5.2 minus 1.5. The answer is 3.7. So the length of the red one is 3.7 centimeter. What about the blue one? The blue one start at 3 and the end at 4 Point three. So the length of the blue one is 1.3 centimeter. How can we use the ruler? We starting from zero and then we look at the end. If the length is more than one meter, we use measuring it. But remember, it's a unit of length is meter. Measuring the tape, we use it for the uh, length more than one meter. We use measuring tape. We use measuring tape if we need to get length more than one meter. Micrometer, we use it to measure the thickness of the object. How can we do this? For example, this is the uh, root, this is a uh, root here. And we need the diameter of the root. The diameter of the root. This is the linear scale. We count here. So this is one, zero, this is one, and the down this is half. So this is two and this is half. So it's a two point half. So the linear one it's a two point half, two point five millimeter. We have here the screw one here, the circle one. So we calculate this one. Fifteen 16, 17. So the screw one is 17. 17, it is a part of milliliter. So it is 0 0.17. So this is the total. 2.5 plus 0 0.17 equals 2.67 milliliter. This is the diameter of the root or the thickness of the root. Micrometer. We use the micrometer to get the diameter of the object. For example, if we need to get the diameter of this uh, pen, so here we put the diameter at the linear and then we move this slightly. You have to don't press it more and then look uh, carefully at the linear. So at the linear part here, you can see, so for this one. So, here, yeah, that is the linear. So, here, yeah, it is uh, one, two, three, three millimeter. And the rotation one, here, yeah, the rotation one, it is 41. So, it is three millimeter plus 0 0.4 millimeter. Meter, so the total is 3.4. What about the volume? For regular object, we use the formula, the mathematical formula. For example, this is a cube. The formula of volume of cube, length times length times length. If we need the length in meter cubed, we have to convert all the sides to meter. 300 millimeter to convert to two meter divide by thousand. So when you divide by thousand, it becomes zero 
buoyant is 3 meter. So 300, 300 divided by 1000 to convert to 2 meter, it is 0 0.3. So what if the volume of the cube, it is 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. So it means 0 0.3 cube. So 0 0.3 cube. The answer is 0 0.027 meter cubed. What about the cylinder? The volume of cylinder is by R squared. If the radius is 40 centimeter and the height is 0 0.5 meter and we need the volume in meter cubed because SI unit of volume is meter cubed. We convert the centimeter to meter divided by 100. It becomes 0 0.4 meter. So the volume of the cylinder is by, by, by using calculator, R R now is 0 0.4, so we write by times 0 0.4 squared, multiply by the height 0 0.5. By using a calculator, it's a by multiply 0 0.4 squared, multiply 0 0.5, the answer is 0 0.25, 0 0.25 meter cubed. The same way for the con. The con it is third by r squared h. This is the volume of the con. The radius is 30 centimeter. Convert to 2 meters, so it becomes a 0 0.3 meter. So the volume of the con is third multiplied by r. r it is 0 0.3. We say r squared. Multiply the height. The height is 0 0.2. So we use the calculator to get the answer. One third multiply by multiply 0 0.3 squared multiply 0 0.2 so the answer is 0 0.019 meter cubed here the base is a square for the pyramid it is third base area times height so the volume of that pyramid it is third the base is a square, is a, a rectangle, uh, is a rectangle. So the area it is length times width. So it means five times three. But we have to convert to two meter. If we need the answer to be easier in that one in centimeter cubed, we say it's a half multiply five multiply by three multiply by the height. For this one, third multiply by five multiply by three multiplied by 10 so the answer is 50 centimeter cubed regular shape like cylinder cube cuboid pyramid cone what about irregular object we use measuring a cylinder so we uh, Add the object, we add the water inside the measuring cylinder. For this example, this is here one, two, three, four, five. So each one is 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this one is 50. The volume of water before to put the object is 50. When you add the object, when you add, you add the object to the water, rises to uh, 50, 60, 70, 80. So here it's 80. So the volume of the object is 80 minus 50, which is 30. The unit here is centimeter. So it is 30 centimeter cubed. This is the volume of the object. How to read the volume of a liquid in a graduated cylinder? Take care for the meniscus. Meniscus, it means the curve. The meniscus is the U-shaped the upper surface of a liquid in the tube. Uh, when you measure, always read from the bottom of meniscus. So this one, this is the top of meniscus, and this is the bottom. So you the bottom. To measure the volume of that object, it is irregular. We add water to measuring cylinder, and we measure the volume of water from the bottom of meniscus. In that one, you can see it is 
31 the bottom it is 31 milliliter and then we add the object carefully inside and then we measure the height the height now is 34 milliliter 34 minus 31 it is 3 milliliter so it means the volume of irregular object is 3 milliliter milliliter is centimeter cubed so the volume of the object is 3 centimeter cubed for measuring the time we have analog and digital SI unit of time is second now let us we see questions from past paper look at this question the diagram here what is the length now this here is starting at what at 10 and ending at what here at 29 so what is the length it's a 29 minus 10 which is 13 uh, which is 19 so the correct answer is 19 a student wishes to find the volume of a small irregular shaped stone a ruler and the measuring cylinder containing some water are available which apparatus is needed yes mm -hmm. can you answer yes the measuring cylinder only another question a measuring cylinder is used to measure the volume of a quantity of water which measuring technique would not improve the accuracy of the measurement is the correct answer now look at this number five the diagram shows four identical uh, spheres placed between two wooden blocks on a ruler what is the diameter of one sphere we find the diameter of the four spheres and divide the result by four this one here one two three four so this is here it's four centimeter and this end okay this is 11 this is 12 12 minus 4 it's 8 so the length of the four diameter is 8 centimeter because they are 4 we divide by 4 8 divided by 4 equal 2 so the correct answer is 2 now for this one he said a cook wants to okay uh, prepare some food to be cooked by 1.15 bm he need to finish the cook at this time he uses an oven with an automatic it's okay the oven needs to be switched on for two hours and ten minutes at which time does the oven need to switch on when we start this is bm so it's better to convert to 24 hours we add 12 so 1.15 bm in 24 hour system we add 12 so it becomes a 13.15 now we return back so we minus from this to 10 minutes so we write 13.15 minus 2.10 subtract 0 from 5 it's 5 1 from 1 it is 0 2 from 3 it's 1 so 11.05 a.m. so this is the correct answer another question here the diagram shows a measuring cylinder used to measure the volume of a small stone what is the volume of stone take care you have to measure from the bottom of meniscus count with me here one two three four so each one dash it's a two so this is 12 this is 14 16 so this one is 18 centimeter cubed and this one 22 24 26 so we write 26 minus 18 26 minus 18 so here it is 8 so the correct answer is 8 so 26 minus 18 
equals eight. So the correct answer is eight centimeter cubed. Now, a student uses a measuring cylinder to measure the volume of some water. What is the volume of water? You have to see the bottom of meniscus. So here, 40, and this is here. You can count how many dashes we have here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so now this is 46. This is 47. So the volume of this one is 47 centimeter cubed. Now, the diagram here shows five identical steel balls. Okay, now we need here what here? We need what is the volume of each steel. Now, this one here, the level is 40 and the level here is 70. The difference between the two levels it is the volume of the four spheres. 70 minus 40 equals 30. Because they are five, we divide the total volume by five. 30 divided by five equals six. So the volume of each, each sphere is six centimeter cubed. So the answer of this one here is, sorry, the answer of this one is six centimeter cube. So the answer is A. For this time here, a stopwatch uses here for the runner. He said, how long did the runner, the runner take to finish? So this is a start at here. Minute is zero, 50 seconds. This is a part of second. And finish at one minute. So we make minus. How can we do that one? So this is the end of time. We write 1, 40, 10. And we subtract 50, 10. How can you subtract? Remember, this is minute, and this is second, and this is a part of second. So borrow 1 from the second. This second here, uh, borrow 1 from minute to be second. One minute equals 60 seconds. So we add 60 to 40, it becomes 100. 100 seconds minus 50 seconds, it's 50. 10 minus 10 is 0. So the time exactly is 50 seconds. Now, the other uh, question, a ruler is used to measure the length. Now, the starting length here, it's 2.5. And the end, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 6.5. So what is the length of the object? 6.5 minus 2.5, which is 4. So the correct answer is 4. Which measurement can be uh, made using micrometer screw gauge? The air, the diameter? Yes. The answer is the diameter. I hope you understand this lesson. Thank you.